keeping a close eye on this season's mm. crop of cider apples. Ivor Dunkerton has been running his Herefordshire farm for over three decades, but in the last five years he's seen a huge increase in sales of his organic craft cider, not just in Britain, but abroad. We're selling to Europe, we're selling to Holland, we're selling to Norway, Sweden, Finland we have sold to, and it looks as if we're going to be 98% sure of selling to China. So there is a great interest in, in, in cider, um, and I think it is the, 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 just how good it is, really. Cider might be turning into a multi-billion dollar industry, but it hasn't lost its rural charm. At Broom Farm, workers at the Ross on Wise Cider and Perry Company are harvesting this year's crop of cider apples. They're shaken off the trees before being gathered and squeezed in a cider press, a layered wooden contraption that's been used for hundreds of years. A quarter of the apples grown at the farm are also fermented, distilled and bottled here to be sold as craft cider. The rest are sold to Bulmers in nearby Hereford, one of the biggest commercial cider companies in the country and one of the firms that's done most to update cider's image. We want people to remember that it's made from apples and comes from apple trees, but we do want it to, to drag it out of that sort of terribly country bumpkin image and get it up into the real world. So yes, I think we've, we've hit the, um, the 21st century. We are now considered to be a, a modern and fashionable drink. A drink so fashionable it's now worth over three billion dollars in the UK alone. Sales of cider and pear cider have more than doubled in the last six years as more and more drinkers get a taste for the fruity tipple.